What's going on guys, King Shratz here back another video on the channel and today we have got a fresh review for you guys. Now, we went to Little Caesars and believe it or not, this is actually the first time in my life that I have ever had Little Caesars. I just didn't live near any. My entire life I've never seen a Little Caesars. So when I went to that app because people kept asking, yo, you gotta try Little Caesars, I was like, I don't think I can get to it. There's one in the town over for me. I don't know when they put it there, but it's there. So we got Little Caesars this time and I did it because they have a pizza that it's been out for a little while, but I didn't know. So um, it's called the Crazy Calzone. Crazy Calzone, which I have not opened any of this stuff yet because I wanted my reactions to be genuine, but I did have somebody place a slice of pepperoni pizza in here. So don't mind that because I've never tried it. So I wanted to try it. I can't see it. What do y'all see? What do y'all you know what? I'm Hold on. Right now that I almost took my eye out trying to get this open. Um, this is weird. Now, what it says it is, before I can get into the description, before I hold this up, is a pepperoni pizza with a Parmesan buttery tasting calzone like crust filled with garlic, white sauce, cheese, and julienne pepperoni, plus crazy sauce. I've never had any of this stuff, so. I don't know what to expect with crazy sauce either. Like, is it crazy or I don't know. Anyway, just on first impression, what this actually looks like is is being very um, like smart when it comes to how they put this together. It looks like a regular large pizza that they like kind of did origami with. So they folded it over. You can kind of see exactly where they did it, which is a pretty god damn. That's greasy. Are little cheese Caesar's pizzas greasy like this all the time? Because I can see the grease on this giant starfish looking thing. But I, I can touch the damn grease too. I'm not complaining, I like greasy stuff anyway. It is what it is, but the other thing is, how the hell do I pick this up? Like what the? Something tells me this isn't how you're supposed to eat it. What do you think? This is really greasy. That's, oh, okay, there we go. It looks like they just didn't cut it enough. This is super fucking greasy, bro. Like, Okay, so here's our crazy calzone. I guess I should start with this side, right? Definitely get the garlic and that julienne pepperoni. Which you can see, there's like little chunks of it. Also, I can't say this enough. This thing is really greasy. I know I've said it like 30 times. But just from holding this, look at my fingers. And I've had every other major franchise of pizza. And this is by far the greasiest pizza that I've ever experienced. But I do like that Parmesan topping. And the pepperoni is crispy, which is always a good sign. I almost feel guilty that I like this. But it, it, it actually, like, I like it. It's good. I, I'm not supposed to like this, am I? I don't know what y'all want me to tell you. They did a good job. What did I just eat? That's good. A crunchy piece of Parmesan or something. My only real gripes. One, again, greasy as hell. Like, look at this, bro. I know y'all, look. Like, it's, it's noticeably bad, like. So I don't think I could eat too much of it because I feel like I'm literally eating grease at this point. You could probably blot it, but that's not gonna get, cause it's on the inside too. But peep how cheesy this is. Like that, that is actually bringing in the points for me. I'm not gonna lie. Now, I don't know, obviously they make their pizza on location, but 
You could do a lot worse for an $8 pizza. Calzone. Crazy calzone. I don't like that name. You could do a lot worse. Price point, value for money, and actual taste. I have, I, I, I would recommend you try it. I really would. I didn't think upon first opening that I was going to like this thing. I was actually prepared to kind of lay into him a little bit about this grease, but sometimes grease be hitting. All right, let's try this crazy, fuck the crazy sauce, crazy sauce. See what's people. It tastes like watered down marinara sauce. Edible? Yeah. Is it like crazy? They didn't change the name. <laughs> but um, I do know that a lot of pizza places tend to use, uh, like, they water their sauces down, believe it or not. Um, I, they might have added too much water to this. I feel like I need to season it. It does add a nice element to the pizza, though, in general, because... You still taste like marinara, but it's kind of hard when you come from where I come from. That ain't even as good as ragu. Yeah, nah. I don't need it. If this wasn't so damn greasy, bro, this would like knock it out of the park. Let me get a bowl. I did get some sides too. Now, what I got was the uh, the calzone, I guess you call it a meal deal. Um, so I'm gonna get it, get into some other stuff too. Cause again, never tried any stuff. And I do have a slice of pepperoni I wanna try after I finish pouring this. It was gonna take like 30 years. We'll be, we'll be all right. Can y'all hear me over this? Say less. All right. So. I got a regular pizza. This is their classic cheese pepperoni. I saw the other one that was like, and like they caught a name for like super califragilistic extra some. Let's just got some weird names for pizzas, but I like it's a theme. I kill the little, the little Roman guy and the pita pita. I mess with it. Um, but pizza looks uniform. This doesn't look greasy, which is good. You can put Parmesan on all their pizzas though. Uh, me one more bite. It's average at best. It's not. I, I wouldn't. I, I wouldn't call it nasty, uh, but it's average. Again, I'm big on value for dollar. All this stuff costs like twenty dollars. So, value wise, I'm not gonna complain because I don't I don't expect a six dollar pizza to just like be out of the park. But if I live there in Little Caesars, and you can just come up to send a six dollar pizza to your house, you could do a lot worse than that. Let me try this crust. Though. I haven't tried the crust. No, nah. I wouldn't even need the crust. Well, this is much better. I'd rather pay $8 for this than $6 for that. You know what I'm saying? But this just has a lot of layers of flavor that hold up to the fact that it's greasy as hell. And I don't really mind greasy food because, you know, I'm from the trenches, so it doesn't really matter. And I would, it's just, it's just like a... It's just it's average. It's just it's high. Like it, I wouldn't go below. Oh, this is, nah, I'm not finna be extra with something that's just average. It's like it's, it's good, but would I eat a whole pizza of that? Yeah, hundred percent. Six dollars. I'm here. All right. Next thing. Try one of these crazy. Why is everything crazy for them, bro? Cra was it called these crazy breadsticks? Crazy sticks? Crazy sticks? I don't have the menu. Hold on. Yeah, crazy bread. Again, ten dollars for the crazy bread, the crazy sauce. 
the the Pepsi I got a diet, but it's still a Pepsi. And this uh, crazy calzone, everything crazy. <laughs> they need to work on that. Um, can't go wrong with that, honestly. This this you know here's the breadstick. Honestly, it kind of looks like naan on this side. This is a little more breadsticky. Uh, feels very doughy. I smell the butter, I smell the parmesan. I'm going to take the first bite with no dipping sauce, which is the stupidest idea ever. That's Popeye's biscuit territory, but... <laughs> the taste is alright. Um, it's hella chewy, though. Alright, let's try one with the sauce, though. Y'all hear that? Listen, I've never been one to sit here and lie when it comes to like stuff. I don't like these breadsticks. They're chewy. I'm like that's not a breadstick that I want to bite into over and over again. Like hell no, nah, bro. Mm -mm. Crazy guys on these dope. Everything else so far, hmm, not so much. I like crazy guys on these. Nothing else. You know I can't go to a pizza place without getting the wings, so I did get an order of buffalo wings. Which, funny enough, eight wings cost as much. <laughs> Yo, this is blowing my mind. Eight wings cost as much <laughs> as a as a pizza. You, this crazy calzone was eight dollars. The wings is seven. That's wild to me. I I don't I don't I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. All right. You tell me. Bro. I swear to God, bro. <laughs> I swear to God. If I bite into that wing and it's soggy, I don't like soggy wings, bro. It's not. Some people do. It's not my thing. Just the amount of sauce that's chilling in there. Oh, it's soft. Oh, they're super soft. They over the hell out of these. There you go. That is soft. I just boiled them. I like the buffalo sauce though. It's got a different kind of tang to it. The wing texture for me is just not super soft. Like I watched the notebook six times with my girlfriend last week in three days soft. I miss you text and drink voicemails at three o'clock in the morning soft. Charmin paper towels two ply extra soft soft. Like there's no bite to these. I'm gonna bite one more just to kind of show you what I mean now look. I need something more than that. But I am not going to cap. The buffalo sauce? I don't know who, if they can bottle that and sell it, like, I'll make my own wings and use the sauce because the sauce is fire. I'm going to actually take this calzone and I'm going to dip it in the buffalo sauce. I need to try to see something. Yeah, that sauce is legit. The wings are ass. The sauce is good. Again, if you could, some people like that. You know, I know some people that bake their wings in like the buffalo sauce like that, and it comes out like super soggy. But if you've watched any wing review I've ever did on my channel, you know that I am like, I'm a slut <laughs> for, for crispy wings. Not breaded, but a crisp. I like the skin. That buffalo sauce, bro. Legit. I like that a lot. Can you get that? Did it sell it? Hold on. Let me get the app out real quick. I gotta check this. Cause that's an L on my part. I feel like you can actually like get stuff on this menu. They do nah. They have Buffalo Ranch. I'm about to ask them if they just bottle the damn sauce. They have garlic butter, Buffalo Ranch, cheesy jalapeno. A lot of the same sauces that Papa John's has. 
but I would eat that sauce a thousand times over. Legit. All right, one more thing. I had to get these. Um, some of my friends were like, yo, you gotta try these brownies. So they come $3 in order, and I feel like they need to be heated up or something. I 210 calories for one fuck. oh no. Okay, I'm gonna take them out in a second, but these are the M&M brownies. Um, they look like, obviously they're super packaged. Um, again, I'm comparing this to other chain pizzas, pizzerias. I'm not comparing this to pizzas, um, like, you know, pizzerias in my area, because, like, there's no competition. That's not even fair. But, you know, I'm comparing it to Domino's, Papa John's, shit, stuff like that, Pizza Hut. And one thing that I can say about a lot of those places is they have, like, the Cinestics and stuff like that, but they bake them when they give them to you, and there's a difference, like, automatically, because this is straight out the... The fuck? Why is it soft? No oh, mommy's probably. All right, I'm gonna grab it from this side because that side looks like it's. I don't know why it looks hot. Maybe it just touched something with the pizzeria, but uh, it's got like a like a cookie dough top to it. But it's super. You can see that it's just like. But it does have like a nice feel to it with the M and M's on the top. But the brownie is gonna matter because if this brownie base is just dry, I'm not gonna like it. I can't tell. I genuinely can't tell. No, he's kind of bang. The brownie base is is meh, but this cookie dough top, sugary as hell, it's supposed to be, and the M and M's like you bite it and you're like I don't know, and then you start getting the M and M's and you're like, all right, that's exactly what just happened. Yeah, no, I like these. Those are dangerous. The cookie dough saves it. Cookie dough definitely saves it. Let me get more vitamins. This is, yeah. That's dangerous. You don't even need to microwave it because they're soft. And if you microwave the cookie dough's going to melt. You see how soft this is? Look. You can take it right off. Dangerous, though. I like that. I like that. Dub. 100% dub. Quick rundown. Overall, whee, um, if you get the right stuff at Little Caesars, it's good. But even compared to the other chain restaurants, I enjoy their pizzas better. Though I do like this crazy calzone, like, I just squeezed it. And I'm not joking with you. There's... I think I'm playing with y'all. Hold on. Look. Where did I just see it? Right here. Look at this. Look. Y'all see the grease bubbling out of this? Like, look at this, bro. That's, that's too greasy. There's no way I would eat that whole pizza and not get the bubble guts. And you know I don't get the bubble guts normally. Like, for me to say that, y'all know what I'm saying. So, just, to, there's grease, like... Too much grease, and I don't mind grease, bro. I ate a double bacon eater at Wendy's. Like, I complained about that too. I ain't gonna cap, but it still tastes good. I don't know if that's a one-off or that's just what you get every time. But I did enjoy the flavor a lot. The crazy sticks, nah. I heard the cheesy bread was good, but when I saw the meal deal, you know I'm bu budget baller, and I don't like the texture on these at all. They're just like, like I don't want to eat that. Like, nah. They're not even that cold. Like, I do, as soon as I got delivered, I, I put it right here. So it was still warm. Uh, the sauce on the buffalo definitely worked it, but the wings, if that's how they come soft all the time like that, I definitely don't want any part of that. Um, the the M&M brownies, legit, overall. Pizza, $6. You kind of, like, it's like a get what you pay for thing. But if I had to be honest, like, I, I if this is of the big three, they're, they don't, they're not better than any of them. I'm just being real about that. Um, I didn't expect much, and I didn't get much. So, I mean... When you get a $6 pizza, I, I really don't expect a whole lot, but I would rather pay the extra 3 or $4. And, and if I'm getting chain pizza, get Domino's, Papa John's, Pizza Hut, whatever. Um, even the desserts. I, I did like this, but I still would prefer like the warm cinnamon pull-aparts or the lava cake or anything like that. 
and, and the pizza, uh, man. And the toppings, they don't have a lot of toppings either. I'm guessing that's how they keep their costs down because um, I did notice that their pizza uses 100% mozzarella cheese. Um, it's not really a cheese blend, which allows you to keep pizza longer. Um, so they might get, I don't, I, I don't even. Would I get it again? Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie about that, but I would definitely say, um, you know, maybe get the regular wings, put the sauce on the side, see if they're not soggy, and definitely do this crazy calzone again. And those cheesy, uh, no, the like you can throw them right the fuck out. Like, I don't want no part of that. Nah. And I would eat these all day. Right here, a warm glass of milk. Bam. So, cost, it's good, but I stick to the other places. Um, it's definitely worth a shot, though, especially this crazy calzone. Worth a shot. But just understand, if it comes as greasy as mine did, don't take more than like a, like I ate, you know, three quarters or a quarter of this and I'm, I, I already know. Definitely not. That's going to be all today, man. I, I actually, it was, it was decent. So I don't regret getting it. Um, it's just, okay, chill on the grease, bro. That's going to be all today, man. We'll be back tomorrow. More content. I love y'all. I hand signs. They made it to YouTube.